Oh, hello. Welcome back for week two of the Canada Games here at UPEI. This is now the Athletes' Village. Uh, Saturday was the big changeover day from Western PEI to Central and Eastern. Saturday was a great day. The sun was out, spirits were high. It was a zoo around here. People were moving, rolly bags, lanyards, pins, pins, pins everywhere. People are now happily set up here. The athletes are divided between the various residences and uh, competition for week two is definitely underway. Obviously a transformation for the residences and for the campus such as this takes a lot of foresight and an incredible amount of planning. So to find out more we decided to go right to the source, right to Mr. Rex Coffin, the Director of Ancillary Services here at UPI, uh, to ask him a little bit about what kind of planning and uh, what sort of transformation takes place with an event as uh, large and as uh, involved as this. The, uh, the residences here at the University have been in full operation for our summer accommodations mode uh, for visitors and guests until just about a week or two ago, the uh, middle of August, uh, and we have since been transforming completely the residences in preparation for the Athletes' Village for the Canada Games. We are anticipating uh, 22, 2300 athletes staying with us. Uh, there's a, a real big transformation of the residences. All of our, our most of the furniture in our uh, traditional rooms are coming out and being removed, uh, being replaced with bunk beds uh, to accommodate the higher volume of athletes that are staying with us. So we're also doing a fairly extensive transformation of the dining hall. All of the existing uh, tables and chairs that we use for our regular service there is coming out uh, to make way for uh, excess cafeteria tables and chairs to come in so we can accommodate the higher volume of people on the dining plan for, for Canada Games. We've set up a really large, or Canada Games has set up a really large tent outside of Blanchard Hall in the parking lot that's down there. That's the uh, entertainment tent, so that's going to be a, a, a fairly happening spot for the athletes. We've actually converted some of the central uh, space in Bernardine into shower space. We've actually added uh, communal showers with, uh, uh, with public washroom facilities into that so that these, these athletes that are in these other rooms also have a facility to go to and we can accommodate those higher needs. And in Bernardine we're also installing improvements to our ventilation system over there. So uh, as we speak there's uh, drilling in concrete to run new ventilation pipes down and there's a new fan, exhaust fan being installed on the roof. Uh, so, you know, some significant upgrades happening in the residences in preparation for the Canada Games as well. So, the facilities are set, the competition has begun for week two, and uh, things are really rolling. A lot of people wondered about uh, Hurricane Bill whistling through. Uh, it came and went, and although it may have dampened the ground, it did not dampen one's spirits. So stay tuned, lots more to come this week. Uh, we'll catch up with some athletes hopefully and find out uh, just what it's like to live and uh, stay in this temporary home here on campus and of course lots of highlights as well from the competitions so stay tuned. <laughs>